In this screencast, we're going to go through a couple examples of iterating through vectors and arrays using four next loops, and this is going to be done in VBA. The first example, we're going to use a count controlled iteration, so that's a four next loop, to develop a VBA sub that's going to tally the number of fives in a vector. So, for example, we have a vector here, it should spit out maybe a message box saying there's one five in your vector. The first step is to draw a flow chart. So we start. I like to add a list here of things that we're going to need to dim. We're going to have an index i. We are going to have a count. So those are going to be both integers. The next step is to count the number of rows in our selection. So we're going to have another variable n rows that's also going to be an integer. So we count the number of rows, then we enter into the for next loop. If i exceeds the number of rows, then we are done. So when that's true, if not, then we go into a fixed iteration and we're going to do something in this for next loop. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to see if when we iterate through the cells of this vector, if the value of a certain cell is equal to 5, then we're going to increment this count. So count is kind of a running tally of all the 5s. So if the cell value is equal to 5, then we increment count by 1. Otherwise, we don't do anything. We just move along. So back to our flowchart. This will take the form of an if-then, a one-way if-then. So we ask ourselves, is cell i equal to 5? If that's true, then count equals count plus 1. We just increment the count by 1. If it's false, we don't do anything. We just move along to the next row. So now we increment that back up. We go through this. When i, the index, exceeds the number of rows, we are done. And the last thing we need to do is display count. So we're going to display to the user what the number of fives in our vector is and then we end. So let's code this in VBA. Alt F11 to bring up the editor. Insert module. So I'm going to call this sub count fives. The things that we need to dim are i, n rows, and count and these are all integers. The first thing we need to do, going back to our flowchart, we need to count the number of rows. So n rows equals selection dot rows dot count. Next, we go into this for next loop. We're iterating over all rows. So for i equals one, two n rows. And what we're doing inside of that iteration is we are checking to see if the current cell value is equal to five. So if, and I'm gonna do selection dot cells i comma one, so that means of our selection, cells, for example, one one would correspond to first row, first column of our selection. So that's going to be our first cell. If that value equals five, then count equals count plus one. I don't need a end if because this is just a one liner, one way if then. So I can just say that. Otherwise, we're not doing anything. So I can just leave it as that. Next i. So that completes this loop. So now I'm back up here and when we're done, we just need you to display the count. So I've done something like message box, there are space and quotation and count and quotation space fives in your selection. So this should say there are one, you know, for example, one fives in your selection. Or maybe I want to put a parentheses around this just in case it's one and we are ready to go. So I need to make sure that I have a selection highlighted. So that's our selection. I'm going to step through this in the editor using F8. So the n rows we picked up as eight. There's eight rows. I keep going. If the selection is equal to five, then count equals count plus one. And as we iterate through this, you can see that i is increasing, but count is not increasing because only the second to the last value had a five in it in our selection. So Right now, i is equal to seven. That's our seventh row. We found a five, so count is incremented by one. And then we keep going. Count is one, so 
it displays there are or is one five in your selection. And if I go back and put in another five, for example, I can run this, Alt F8, count fives, and there are two fives in your selection. So this is how we can iterate through a vector. So now the goal is to develop a VBA function that's going to tally the number of five. So we're just going to take our sub that we just created and we're going to convert it into a function. A couple things you need to keep in mind when changing a sub to a function. You need to change sub to function and that'll automatically change n sub to n function. I'll show you this in a moment. You need to add an argument to the function and I'll show you that and then you never ever want to have input boxes and output boxes or message boxes in functions. So let's go over to our code. I'm going to change this from sub to function. Now we have an argument and this is going to be my range. So I'm just going to put in anything because that can be that can be anything. It's just a dummy argument. That's what they're inputting into the count fives function in the spreadsheet. Instead of n rows being selection, our object now is the dummy argument. That's the range they're putting in. So that is now our argument. So we are dimming, same thing, i, n rows, count. And again, instead of our selection being the object, our range, which I'm just using the dummy argument here, anything. If that is equal to 5, then we increment count by 1. And then we never ever want to have a message box. Instead, the output of a function is always the name of the function. So I'm going to say count fives equals count. So that's the output of our function. So let's go into our spreadsheet. I'm going to type this in, count fives. It recognizes that, so I put in my range. And when I press enter, it's going to go through exactly what we did in the sub, but then the output is just into a single cell. And again, you wouldn't want to have a message box here because functions are usually just a single cell with an output in that cell. Moving along, we're going to develop a VBA sub that's going to count the number of fives in an array. So now, instead of just having a column vector, we're going to count the number of fives in an array. The difference here now is that we're doing a double iteration. So we're not only iterating through the rows of a single column, but we're also we have multiple columns. So our flowchart is going to look a little different. We have to include now another iteration. So now we're not only iterating over the rows, but we're also iterating over the columns. So I'm going to go back to my original sub for doing a vector, and we're going to modify it so now we can do that over an array. I've changed the message box a little. What we need to do now is instead of having just i, we now have another integer, j, that we're iterating over all rows. We also have n columns as an integer. We also have to count n calls using selection.columns.count. And instead of just doing a single iteration, we're now iterating over the columns. During each of those, we're doing the same thing where we're checking to see if that particular cell is equal to 5. If it is, we increment the count by 1. We have to do the next j to complete the j loop, and we do next i. And this should be all set. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to move these up here. I'm going to highlight this. Let me remove the function that we had from earlier. This is now going to be our selection. And I'm going to press F8 to start going through this. It's picked up the number of rows, the number of columns, and I'm just iterating through. When we come to a 5, then count is incremented by 1. So now we have a count is equal to 1 and we keep going, we just picked up another one. We go through all the different combinations of row and column, and then we spit out, there are two fives in your array. And if you wanted to, we could change this to a function, just change that to function. This can be anything. Instead of selection, we have anything, anything, anything. And instead of the message box, we're gonna say, count fives, that's the name of the function, is equal to count. And let's make sure that this runs. 
equals count fives of our array. And in fact, it does work. We have two fives in our array. So that's how you can work with vectors and arrays using four next fixed iterations in VBA.